Okay, you should have all the absolute monarchs on your paper now. So at the bottom of that it says, what effect did religion have on Europe during during the time of the absolute monarch? So let's take a look at what effect it did have. So we've got about four items, I believe. First one is called the Peace of Augsburg. So that's a tr peace treaty. And in it, it says that each German prince can decide the religion of their own state. So if the prince in charge of where you live wants to be Protestant, then everybody who lives there will be Protestant. If he wants to be Catholic, everyone who lives in his territory will be Catholic. So, uh, it sounds kind of harsh, but it does actually lead to peace because then in the each ruler's territory, everyone has the same religious practices. Later, and we've talked about this during the uh, Reformation, we have the Edict of Nantes in France, which grants religious freedom to Protestants in France. We call those Protestants Huguenots. So they are Calvinists. Remember, John Calvin is from France. So it's going to grant them religious freedom. So Cardinal Richelieu had been tolerant of the religious beliefs of these Huguenots, but he had destroyed their military and political power. Um, so the goal of this was to end the religious fighting in France, because uh, if you remember from the Reformation, Cardinal Richelieu realized that um, the Thirty Years' War was a way for them to strengthen France as a country. So, uh, Louis ends up thinking of these Protestants as a threat to the Catholic Church and also the country of um, France. So he is going to put restrictions on the French Calvinists, the Huguenots. He's going to make it illegal for them to hold public office. And eventually he is going to revoke the Edict of Nantes or take it away. Um, and when he does that, the result is we have about 200,000 Huguenots who leave France. They go to places like England, Germany, Holland, and America. Um, a, a large number of Huguenots actually end up in Virginia down around the James River area near Richmond. So, here's the Thirty Years' War. We covered it during the Reformation. Breaks out in Europe. It's the Protestant countries against the Catholic countries, except Cardinal Richelieu is going to realize uh, if France switches sides and sides with the Protestants, it actually will make France a stronger country than if they fight with the Catholics. Um, so, the end of this war is the Treaty of Westphalia, which we already talked about part of this. Um, German rulers get to choose religion. It's just like um, the Augsburg Treaty that we talked about. And it makes Protestants and Catholics equal before the law. So you can't be treated differently just based on your religion in continental Europe is the idea. Um, now, <laughs> in England and Britain, we are going to see an invasion of Ireland by the English. Um, the English are Anglican or follow the Church of England. Uh, so they have no toleration for Catholicism. They're going to be tolerant of the other Protestant religions like the Calvinists, but not Catholics. So when they invade Ireland and they come across a place where everyone is Catholic, once they have taken control of the specific area, they are going to pass these rules taking away, basically to take away civil rights. So Catholics are not allowed to hold land and they're denied basic civil rights like voting until the 1970s. Um, and the fighting, although this, I should have updated the slide, the fighting has really ended. There was a treaty in 1990 Seven called the Good Friday Agreement, which really ended the fighting. Um, up until then, it was shooting at each other. Now it's political, where they are arguing about who should get what rights and should the Catholic people be treated equally with the Protestant people. And it's not settled, but 
you're not going to see people shooting at each other in the streets anymore like you would have in uh, the 1970s. So, um, if you have any questions about absolutism, we've gone over everything you need for your project. Your project is due your last class period of the quarter for most of you. Um, so if you have any questions about any of the rulers or these pieces of these religious pieces, you need to make sure you ask while you still have us in class.